here's an effect where we have an object going across the screen as a transition. Notice how to the left of it we see one scene, but to the right we see another. I'm going to show you how you can make this with Blender. Okay, so here's how I made this. There are three important scenes here. S1 is just a cone that goes up and down like this. S2 is this monkey head that goes around. And transition is where they're all put together as a transition. So here's how I did this. First of all, uh, we need to make sure that all of the scenes are the same length. S1, S2, and transition are all 50 frames long. Next, we need to make sure the transition has a transparent background. It's under the film. You might need to expand that. Click. So here's how we're going to make this. We're going to go into the compositing workspace because we are going to composite the three scenes together. So check Use Node, and then you'll see this compositing workspace come up. If we hit F12 now, then it will run through the compositing workspace. Of course, it'll be no different than usual because by default, we just render the layers and composite it. However, we want to do something more than that, because we also want to put S1 and S2 behind it. So, first of all, we are not going to directly do something in the compositing workspace, but instead, we are going to render out S1. Okay, I'm done rendering that. Now, let's mask it. Hit plus, VFX, masking. And this brings up a masking workspace, where we're going to mask out the part of the video that's displaying S2, so that way, we can use the mask to figure out which part of S1 is displayed and which part of S2 is displayed. Hit open, navigate to where you rendered it to, A to select all the images, and open clap. And now if we go through this, we'll see the video clap. From here, we just need to add masks to this in order to make it so Blender knows that here is S1 and here is S2. Let's go to the beginning. And initially, everything is going to be part of S1. So we are just going to add something in here to display everything and hit I to keyframe that. And on this frame here, you'll notice just a little bit of the next image, S2, is being displayed. So I'm going to grab this, double click there to add in curve handles. And now, that part isn't included in the mask. It doesn't matter whether or not the, where the uh, line is. I'm just going to adjust this on here. Like, it could be here or here. It doesn't matter where. Now I'm going to keep going. Oh, make sure to keyframe it, because I just forgot to keyframe that there, and now that erased my work. Luckily, I can just quickly add that back in. <laughs> Okay, so now at this fr frame, everything is, we're entirely in S2. So now if we go through this, we'll notice that we cover the whole thing with the mask initially, and then at the end, it's not covered at all, which is what we want. So now that we're done with the mask, we can go to the compositing workspace to composite the layers together based on where the mask is. Now, if we can move this over and insert a alpha over node, and I'm going to move this to uh, the other one. I'm also going to set up a viewer node just so we can see what we're working on. Go to image editor, select the viewer node, and you're not going to see anything yet. But that's because we haven't added a viewer node. And we can use a rewrote node just to make this a bit easier. And now we're seeing what's going to be composited. It won't always update instantly. If we go here, we won't see it immediately. But if we hit F12, that'll render that out. And if you look here, it'll update. But it just doesn't update a, as you see. Okay, now we're actually going to add in another alpha over node. So color, alpha over. Here, we're going to be combining the S1 and S2. So if we go add input render layers, Change that to S1, and also add in one for S2. Now, right now, if we combine these, they will just go on top of each other. 
which is not what we want because then they don't because we want to have part of s1 and part of s2 displayed but not at the same place right now s1 is just taking entirely over s2 luckily we can use the uh fraction part right there in order to control that like if i do 0 0.5 then you can see part of both but we want to make it one at some point and zero at other points for both of these this is where the mask node comes in so make sure to go this and select this it'll say f mask if you look at the masking tab we called it mask we can call it whatever we want masky so going back to compositing oh compositing now we can drag in this mask and that'll make it so whenever the mask is zero, it'll display nothing, and when the mask is one, it'll display something. Now we can actually look at what this mask is by dragging this here, and you'll notice as we play along, oh, you can't play it like that, but you'll see how the mask is. Whenever that's black, that's a zero, and whenever it's white, that's a one, which is what we want. So let's drag that in. And uh, if you see some, if it's looking weird like that, that's just because the transition scene hasn't rendered, but hit F12 and it should update. Here's what my final render looked like.